Today is April 4th, Saturday of the fifth week of Lent. I hope you're taking care of yourself. Tomorrow is Palm Sunday. And so the gospel account for today is right on the verge of what happens on Palm Sunday. It follows it from the Gospel of John right after the raising of Lazarus. And of course, many people came to believe as we heard in that gospel account last Sunday. But then some went immediately and told Jesus' enemies, the members of the Sanhedrin, who are looking to have Jesus arrested. And rather than see the good that he's doing, they see the problems that it might cause. Rather than seeing how Jesus can heal people, work these signs, and raise the dead, rather than promote that, they see it as a problem. Some of it was for theological reasons. They see Jesus as a blasphemer for making himself God's equal, which he is, the son of God, both human and fully divine. But they also see that if he starts a religious movement, and it'll bring the Romans in, the Roman army, to squelch that religious movement because in the mind of the Sanhedrin, religious movements lead to a nationalism which presents an opportunity for violence on the part of the Romans. So some of it was just pragmatic on their parts, but still going in the wrong direction and missing who Jesus really was. So there's this interesting line that comes from this. After they realize that this might, if, he is, if his movement grows, if Jesus' movement grows, it could be bad for everybody. Here's what Caiaphas says. Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, said to them, you know nothing, he says to the rest of the Sanhedrin, nor do you consider that it is better for you that one man should die instead of the people so that the whole nation may not perish. He did not say this on his own, but since he was high priest for that year, he prophesied that Jesus was going to die for the nation. And not only for the nation, but also to gather into one the dispersed children of God. Isn't that remarkable? After Caiaphas makes that statement, the evangelist John points out that Caiaphas, in his office as high priest, was actually doing God's bidding and proclaiming the purpose of Jesus' impending death for the salvation of everyone. Not in the way that Caiaphas expected, but in the way that God planned. This is a reminder to us that even though the plan of the Sanhedrin, Jesus' detra detractors, was an evil act, putting Jesus to death, God can bring good out of any evil. Let me say that again. God can bring good out of any evil. In my own family, I think of that my father's uh, lost his mother and, f and father and both brothers to diseases that are treatable now. But at that time, they weren't treatable and he became an orphan at the age of 16. But had that not happened, he would not have gone to a boarding school where he met my mother. And if that had not happened, they would not have been married and I wouldn't be here, my siblings wouldn't be here. And so God turns, uh, takes things that happen, death of a family, an evil thing, and can bring good out of that in miraculous ways. So we should never underestimate God's providence, even as we face this coronavirus. Yeah, there is a lot to be worried about, but we should never underestimate what God can do, even in the midst of these times. That's what Easter is for. That's what it's about. That's the hope that we so desperately need this year. And every year we proclaim the resurrection of our Lord, Jesus Christ. God bless you.